headlines here. And it's the absence of that media coverage that has forced many parents to take matters into their own hands. They recently produced thousands of packs of cards like these. Each card bears an image of a missing child. We don't know just how many children have been abducted since the one-child policy began because the central government refuses to release those figures. But China's state media recently reported that between 30 and 60,000 children vanish each year. According to Roseanne Reif of Amnesty International Asia, it's a figure that can't be openly discussed. It's going to be very difficult to get any official statistics because statistics at the provincial level or the national level, level on trafficking of women or children are classified as state secrets. So people are going to be reluctant to talk about it out of concern that they might themselves end up within the criminal justice system. Despite the dangers, some, like Mr. Sun, are determined to speak out. Xiao Mr. Sun's also had several run-ins with the police for refusing to remove the posters and banners that decorate his shop. Two years on, his wife can barely imagine what's become of her precious son. She worries because in some cases, a snatched child will be sold on to a gang of beggars or thieves like Oliver Twist. The grief of the parents has been exacerbated by the response of the authorities. These are pictures of a protest broken up by police in Beijing last August. Mr. and Mrs. Chai were hauled away to shouts of, how dare you question the government? Well, after those depressing and distressing interviews in uh, Shenzhen, we've come further north to the province of Hebei to meet another group of parents who are taking matters into their own hands. They've been driving around the north of China trying to raise awareness about child abductions. But there's a problem. The police have intercepted their van, detaining them for several hours before ordering them to return to their home province hundreds of kilometers away. The group those parents were planning to meet still want to see me, though. And so a clandestine rendezvous is arranged at a hotel in the provincial capital, Xie Zhuashuang. They're aware of the risk they're taking because the police have been watching their homes. So this is the only protest they can make inside the hotel room. Not all the parents of missing children are poor. Mrs. Wang owns a chemical factory, but she's also part of an ad hoc pressure group that includes farmers, laborers and migrant workers. She holds the Six of Hearts playing card bearing the picture of one of her two sons, abducted together in 1995. Oh, yes. It's been 
，现在应该是成年人了，一个二十岁，一个十九岁的。Does she think about him every day? Yes. Does she believe in her heart that she will see them again? Yes. Does she believe in her heart that she will see them again? Yes. Does she believe in her heart but the police regard them as troublemakers, saying their actions are creating social instability. Uh, I feel that the police are The ultimate penalty for trafficking in children is death. A sentence rarely imposed, although these parents would have no second thoughts. I不可理解，为啥他们把这个功夫用在我们这些家长身上，他们不把这些功夫用到人犯的身上？我们这是在自救，我们这是在自救，我们没有给给国家、给我们的党增加增加一点麻烦。说为什么他们不让我们去走，